Hey, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Um, my lighting is probably pretty bad up in here right about now. I don't even know how to really fix this. But I thought I'd come on here live right quick and just show you something um, that I cook as a vegan. Um, and for those of you that don't know that I am, have been a vegan, have not been eating meat, anything with the face on it, I don't eat it. So it's it's been a journey for me and I have actually been I think I've been doing pretty well so today um, this morning I thought I'd get on here uh, just to show you another video of something that I'm cooking for myself so last time I think I cooked a burger um, this time I'm actually gonna cook breakfast and it's actually going to I'm gonna attempt to do a wrap uh, and if not a wrap it's probably gonna be a, I don't know scrambled eggs or something like that and, and then I have to show you what exactly it is that I'm actually preparing so um, I'm gonna get started and uh, I don't know if you can see I'm gonna flip the camera over so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing here so give me a minute and okay so this right here this is my egg substitute and I found this in whole food so it has it's all plant-based see if I can find um, my ingredients my ingredients are okay so you can see the ingredients on here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but hopefully you can see it pretty good. So it's all plant-based. And also, I am going to do some of the stuff I'm going to put in, in my egg. And this is the meat. It's a, it's a vegan meat. It actually adds some... Uh, mushrooms and this is what the substitute egg looks like and I have to add some water to that so give me a minute and okay so and now I'm going to show you of course these are going to be my seasonings right here some Himalayan salt uh, some white pepper uh, for those of you that have ulcer problems or whatever I think this this will be best and then I love my garlic so I'm going to put some garlic in there and the meat of my choice actually is um, it's a sausage, breakfast sausage, and this again it's for it's for vegans, and it's apple maple, so feels roast, and I also found that in Whole Foods store, so and also so delicious. This is the cheddar cheese. This melts really really good, and. Just in case, I might change my mind on the sausage this morning. Um, not quite sure. Swaying back and forth with it. Uh, I may do this bacon, which again, this is vegan also. Um, and this is hickory sage. So, and the wrap, um, I got to work on this. You know, this is a journey for me and I'm still working on a lot of things. Um, this has... I think, let me see, the ingredients on there, um, it's, um, it, it's bleached, so this probably is not a good idea for me, so I'm probably going to not buy this anymore, but because I still got it in my house, I'm going to finish it up. Um, so other than that, I'm going to get started with this, hopefully I can get this camera together and show you guys what all I'm doing here give me a minute y'all know I'll be struggling with this uh, phone let me see if I can flip this
y'all just bear with me because y'all know I be acting real special with this with this thing. <laughs> so okay, here we go. Okay, I think that's I think that's good, and I think you guys can see it. So I'm gonna turn this turn this on to about 350 for now. And I'm gonna put a little oil in there, which uh, actually I'm gonna do the coconut oil this time. Normally I do the uh, avocado oil, which is, I think it's a little bit, you know, as far as cooking, is better. Um, and I'm gonna throw my vegetables off in there. My onions, bell pepper, the yellow and the green bell peppers in there. I'm going to turn this up just a little bit more just so it can get started. Hey, Miss Bernadette. So I'm going to start off with the vegetables first. Turn it down just a little bit because it's started cooking. While I'm letting that starting to cook, I'm gonna pour. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I'm gonna pour my water into the substitute egg. And this is actually like two tablespoons of that vegan um, substitute powder, which is plant based. And you have to add some water to it. So this to me, you know, is hard work, but it's worth it at the end because um, like I said on my other video, I actually um, had problems with my thyroids and problems with my um, intestines and different and just being sick a lot. So I just thought I'd just give this a try and try something different. So this egg substitutes it smells like an egg that you would boil. You know those eggs that uh, we used to do when we was kids uh, around Easter time? It smells like that kind of egg. So, I don't know if you guys can see the substitute of this, but this is what it looks like. So, I'm gonna pour this off in, into here once I get this really going here. And then just put it off in there. It's, it's, it, it comes out watery. I wish it was another, another one that was a little more easier because, but after it cooks down, it tends to, um, kind of thicken, thicken up a little bit more. So, I, I'm not going to add that meat in there just yet. I'm going to let this cook a little bit before I put that uh, vegan sausage in there or the bacon. I don't know which one I'm feeling right now. But I'm going to season it with some garlic. Like I said, I love I love garlic. Love garlic. Garlic is good for you. So you can I don't you guys can see that boiling boiling up. I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit. I don't want it to cook too fast. I don't want it to burn. So this is the garlic I'm putting in there. And some white pepper. And also some Himalayan pink salt. That's my seasonings. And this takes a minute. And normally it acts a little bit better than this. So I might be rushing this. I don't know. But uh, I kind of wanted an omelet. But However this turns out, I'm still going to eat it because the, all the flavors that I'm looking for are in there. 
and I'm actually going to probably just 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 put a wrap to make it in in the wrap so So while I'm letting that cook, I guess I'll talk to you all about something that that uh, I have been doing and I'm not complete with it, but I am actually doing my garden. I said I was going to do a garden this summer and uh, I have the greenhouse up. It's complete. Uh, and also I have the dirt and I have the seeds already planted. Uh, some starter plants and the rest of them are seeds so um, I'm gonna see how it goes with you know with that garden I hope you know that I do a good job because you know I can the only thing I can do is go on YouTube and maybe like see if I can find some other people that have been gardening and they you know know a little bit more than I know because that was like, first of all, that greenhouse was a monster getting put up. And and my back and my whole body, because I haven't been using all those muscles for, I'm going to say, years. Uh, I I had a sore back. A sore, my, matter of fact, my whole body was just sore. And then my husband kind of hurt his back. So we, we was just discombobulated over here. But uh, needless to say at the end of it all hopefully at the end of summer we'll have you know a nice garden and and have some fresh vegetables because that's what i'm looking for since seeing that i don't eat meat anymore dennis still eats meat uh alexis i call her my ba my biracial child she eats meat sometimes you know uh what her dad cooked and sometimes i'll cook the meat for them uh, but sometimes she'll eat uh, the food that I cook also so and that's cool you know she had to make up her mind and she have to have her own reasoning as to why she's doing what she's doing just like I have my reasons for why I am no longer eating the meat you know and and by the way there, you know what there is one more thing that I think I'm gonna add to this which is good for its vitamin B12, and I'll show you in a minute. I'm gonna sprinkle some of this right there on the top of that. Um, this is actually uh, traditional yeast, and I got that from Whole Food. So I just put that in there, and that's that would be my vitamin B12, and among you know my vitamins that I actually um, put in my body, my supplements, I actually have those and I'll pull those out as well because that I need every day. So I showed this in the last video that I cooked. Um, this is good for the thyroids. For people that got thyroid issues and it actually has been helping me i haven't had those problems since i've been taking it uh and of course my vitamin b12 and i have my vitamin a and i have the magnesium and the reason why I do the magnesium because that actually helps with those uh, muscle cramps and uh, some other things that be going on with me. And I also have my vitamin D, which is, you know, I work at the salon and I tend to be, when I'm there, I'm there all day. And then also when I'm at home, I'm like at, in the house all day. So I'm basically in a building all day and I need my vitamin D. And this is also for hair, nail, and skin, the BioCell. This is the liquid. You have to order that on Amazon because uh, they don't have it at Whole Food. So those are, and then also, uh, one more thing. 
my vitamin E. And that's also for good for hair, hair, nails, and skin as well. So all those supplements right there is what I take every day. And that's, you know, and I think that's good for me. It's for anybody that's a vegan, anybody that doesn't eat the meat, you know, you need those. Sort of, these eggs is looking pretty, pretty good. They, it actually looks like an egg now. So as you can see, it's formed quite nicely. And all that water has dissolved pretty much. And this is pretty much ready to come up out this skillet. So what I'm gonna do is open up my wrap. Place it on my plate. And I'm going to put a little ch cheese, cheddar cheese on there so it can do a little melting. And of course, I got to put, go ahead and put my meat in there and some mushrooms and all of this is going in the wrap the coconut oil as you can see it's kind of like making stuff stick and I normally don't use coconut oil but that's all I have for right now so until I go to the store that's what I'm gonna I'm using to this morning. Um, this is has been really really good. You know when I feel like eating breakfast, sometimes I just eat just drink like a smoothie. You know a fruit smoothie with uh, some spinach in there, and some of my supplements I just just dump them all off into there, so everything is all in one. So this is pretty much looking formed and I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the wrap wrap is huge I normally I normally do these for my fajitas one I'm gonna get on here uh, one day and cook my fajitas and show you all what my fajitas look like but this is kind of big for, for my breakfast burrito because that's pretty much what I got a breakfast burrito um I'm gonna sit that over to the side over here so you can see and I'm gonna top this off with some spinach I love spinach matter of fact I grew some spinach uh, yeah they, they some of it is starting to come up and top it off with some tomatoes and this is actually going to be my breakfast this morning to the side and let's see if I can wrap that. Yeah, that's pretty. Well, you know what? I guess this is pretty big. So, yeah, it's still too big because look at all that, <laughs> all that bread. That's too much bread, but, but whatever. It doesn't matter. So, this is my breakfast burrito. And let me slice that up. And you can see, see what that looks like? That that looks nice. I, I love it, I love it. Um, I'm probably gonna get me some fruit, uh, some strawberries, some pineapples, something, you know, to go with that and drink me a big tall glass of water and that's gonna be it for me. So, uh, I, uh oh, 
I finished up with that, but let me show, I gotta show y'all, you guys this. Hold on. Um, while that, while that, that uh, burrito is cooling down, I'm gonna show you something. Show you this garden right quick. Show you what I did. So, um, this is actually the greenhouse. So this is what it looks like. It's like a, um, it's a 15 by seven. And I'm gonna unzip, and we'll see, this is offset. So I was, I am not able to zip this all the way down. You know, me and Dennis was just like really struggling. This thing actually could take probably uh, three or four people to put up, but we did the best we could do, you know, until maybe somebody might decide to come and help us. But in the meantime, this is, I am inside of the garden, the greenhouse, and um, over here, I have my seeds that are already planted. Uh, they have not come up yet because I started those like the beginning of the uh, month and this is actually my mustards from here to here and then over here this is actually my spinach you know from here all the way to here so those seeds I gotta water I gotta water them today sometime today and then um, I have some starter plants and this is like a tomato a tomato plant a red beef beef steak tomato Let's see if you guys can see that so a red beef tomato and then over here for these starter plants this is actually a uh, um, red bell pepper sweet so and then um, uh, let's see and then we got some more sweet peppers here and over here I actually got some cabbage going on so and th this is just in seed so and then I also have you know a few more green peppers that's actually you know in seed and over there right there th that's actually some seeds I started like last month and it was you know just a tester just to see you know if you know if the seeds would pop out or or if I you know knew what I was doing so I actually just replanted them right up in there and the remaining is just seeds that I just planted this um, this month so okay now I'm not sure if I'm looking at something popping out already here and this is I think this is my spinach yeah so you guys look at that and I just planted this like uh, I think that was yeah it is this is actually spinach and here's another one so I'm all geeked up and excited here look at that so hopefully you know it's gonna continue and it's gonna get fuller and as the um, weeks summer go by I'm, I'm gonna uh, update you guys on it and see what I'm see if I know what I'm doing here and I have some more um, tomato this is the early girl early girl uh, tomatoes here these are starters and I just bought those yesterday and planted them so all this stuff I need to water it sometime today um, and I have some onions started up in here and I think I'm gonna replant that Matter of fact, I'm not going to replant it. I'm just going to put some more bulbs in there because I started those in the house uh, some time ago and they, they're sprouting up okay. And also, so, okay, my fruit. So I have strawberries, which I have in this planter, but they're not uh, planted. So the strawberries, um, I'm trying to wait for my granddaughters to get here. And once they get here, then... Uh, hopefully this weekend 
we'll go ahead and find another planter and put the strawberries in and you know and see if I can you know grow some strawberries you know I can see a lot of little buds and stuff you know look at that look at that that's it looks pretty whether rather whether it gets you know uh, a strawberry on there or not you know hey but that's my strawberry plant so um yeah so that's what's going on with me and i've been quite the little busy busy little person that i am and um i'm excited this you know what god is doing in my life i'm excited you know what is going on with me i have a lot of energy a lot more than i have ever had and so that was my garden and now i'm gonna get up get to this burrito and i'm gonna get out of here so i'll until next time next video you guys have a blessed wonderful day and i'll see you soon